I've luckily... Hey, what's up Aquamios? Thank you for joining me for another pond build video. Today, we are going to finish the first course of cinder blocks for my pond's retaining wall. Right over there is where we left off in my last video. So we have all of this done. All of this to right there. So we just have this small gap to fill up for the first course of cinder blocks. And then we can start with the second layer of cinder blocks, as well as adding the rebar and all that stuff. This handheld cement mixer was a huge help in my last video, so we're definitely going to use that again. And we're in luck, guys. We got Paul helping us out today. So we're going to start mixing up cement and laying the rest of the block. Okay guys, just doing a quick update. We finished the rest of the first course of cinder blocks. Just look how nice that looks over there now. Paul and I have a lot of practice doing this now, so it went a lot quicker. Also, we decided that we actually need to drill some more holes into the foundation for extra rebar. So we have another, I don't know, maybe like, we have less than 10, I would say, extra holes that we're going to drill right now with the hammer drill. This is the hammer drill I have, in case you haven't seen it. This thing will allow us to drill holes into the cement, and then we'll be able to stick rebar through those holes just to give extra support to the cinder block wall. Okay guys, we just finished drilling our extra holes into the foundation. That's what they look like right here. They're like giant ant hills. And I'm going to go and grab the angle grinder real quick because next we have to cut up some pieces of rebar into 16 inch pieces. So this is it right here, guys. This is what we're going to use to cut up that rebar. All right, my dad has the angle grinder set up. Cool. And Paul's over here marking up the rebar where we need to cut it. So we're doing like every 16 inches. Nice. <laughs> that looks really cool. It does. <laughs> so we have the rebar trapped under that brick right there. And yeah, here we go. Whoa, nice. Now you just need to do it like 20 times. So we have another saw here we might try out because the angle grinder kind of took a while. So we might have a better saw. Let's see. This one looks pretty cool. Nice. That was a lot better. Awesome, and here's the rebar inside. Yeah, I think that looks good. It's like halfway up. Yep. Yeah, it's- You like that measurement? I think that's good. So just so you guys know, it goes about this high up in the cinder block, the second course. So I think that's perfect. And then it goes four inches into the foundation below this block. So I think that's pretty good. That'll be pretty sturdy.
can see the outlines of the goggles, guys. But yeah, uh, Paul's going to continue cutting up some of that rebar. We probably aren't going to, actually, I know for a fact, we're not going to have any more time to do cement work today because it's going to be dark in probably like 20 minutes. But check it out, guys. I mean, once we have all that rebar cut up, all we have to do is cement the second layer of cinder blocks. And as we're cementing down the second layer of cinder blocks, you know, we'll be putting the rebar through as we go. And then we're going to go back and fill up the cinder blocks with cement and we'll be 99% done with the retaining wall. So I'm just gonna clean up out here and then I'll come back tomorrow and show you guys what those cinder blocks look like after the cement dries. And really quick guys, before I forget, I have some shout outs for the Aquamigos. I have a shout out for Wayne Archer, Sabrina Sauza, The Steven Arts, Luis De Silva, Corina Vogel, TPW has puppies, Uri, and Silent Silver. Thank you guys so much for being Aquamigos. I really appreciate it. If any of you guys would like a shout out in my next pond build video, all you have to do is go down to the comments below and comment something with the word Aquamigo in it. It could be anything you want, as long as it has the word Aquamigo in it, and I'll shout you out in my next pond build video. Hey, what's up Aquamigo? So it's the next morning. I sprayed everything down a little while ago. It's looking pretty solid. I can walk on top of these blocks no problem and they're pretty sturdy, although I probably shouldn't. As far as the pool pond goes, I've luckily not lost any more fish. So I'm thinking maybe it was kind of like the temperature issue. This umbrella creates quite a lot more shade over the pool pond. So I think that's probably working out. So yeah, I just wanted to give you guys those two quick updates before closing out this video. And of course guys, if you did like this video, I'd really appreciate it if you went down there and gave this video a like. If you would like to see more of my pond build progress in the future, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also that bell notifications button. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, I'll go ahead and put my handle right here. It's at YT underscore Tobias and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Peace!